Alright guys, this is MarkBoy360100 video and today it's going to be a very interesting video. I would like to credit Indie Wisdom Reloaded for this idea and it's it's uh, father and sons in the wrestling business and how they're different. Like the American Dream Dusty Rhodes. Great wrestler, he was Booker, he was uh, great on the mic, awesome guy on the mic and three time World Heavyweight Champion. US TV tag, he won everything, and of course Goldust and Cody Rhodes were his sons, and both of them can't live up to Dusty Rhodes and couldn't fill his shoes, so they had to find their own niche in wrestling, and they did. Goldust, of course, Dustin Rhodes and Goldust, and made it his own, his, his character, and did a pretty good job at it. Still wrestling to this day. And uh, so is Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes has done an amazing job. He was Stardust for a bit, and he wasn't that great at Stardust. But as Cody Rhodes, great. And he was different than his father. He was more athletic. He was, uh, I'd say, decent on the mic, too. And went to every promotion and wrestled for basically every promotion. And made himself bigger than he was when he was in WWE. And he's wrestled New Japan. He's wrestled in Ring of Honor. He's wrestled all over the world. And uh, Cody Rhodes has done a great job too, but uh, that's the differences between the two. Same thing for Randy Orton and Cowboy Bob Orton. Cowboy Bob Orton, Cowboy Bob Orton was great in the ring, smooth, just like Randy Orton. But uh, Orton, uh, Bob Orton, uh, came up in a different era. So did Cowboy. Uh, so so did Bob Orton Sr., Randy Orton's grandfather. But uh, they came in a different era, of course. And I think Randy Orton is more gifted, was a better athlete. And I think it was actually smoother in the ring than Cowboy Bob Orton. And right now Randy Orton sucks. I think he should change his gimmick and his character. But, uh, or his character, I should say. He's not really a gimmick. But, uh, that's what I think. And, uh, I think, uh, uh, Randy Orton surpassed his father in the accomplishments and stuff, obviously. So, like, a 13 time champ and won everything and has done very well in the business. So. I think he's he actually is one of the few that actually did more than his father. Then if you go over to The Rock, of course, grandfather was High Chief Peter Maivia, Rocky Johnson was his father, uh, Rocky Johnson was a tag team champ, and Peter Maivia, I think, was a intercontinental champ, and uh, The Rock surpassed them both, I think, he's more athletic, charismatic than both of them ever were, and great soccer on the mic better than both of them put together and uh, The Rock also surpassed his father and did a better, better in the wrestling business than his father did. Not to take anything away from his father and grandfather, they were, both, they were also great athletes and great wrestlers, but uh, The Rock did better than his, than his uh, father and grandfather. So, just a few, just a video I figured I, I'd shoot for you guys just to see the differences between the father and son and which ones did better, which ones didn't do quite as well, but uh, I'd say probably Dusty Rhodes probably did better than Cody and, du and Cold Dust, but they, they also did an amazing job themselves finding a place in wrestling for themselves. They, could, they, knew, they knew they couldn't compare to Dusty Rhodes. And yeah, a few other uh, mentions, I guess. Uh, Devon, Devon Eriks. Their father was an owner of world-class championship wrestling, was a good wrestler in his own right, but I think the sons were way better than his father was. Kerry Von Eric, Kevin, David, and the other the other guys. But Kerry is the one who beat Flair for the world title, won the IC title in WWF, and probably was the biggest one out of the bunch. But they were all different, too, than, than their father. Athletic, uh, Kevin and Von Eric was the, bare, uh, the one who wrestled barefoot, high fire, too. So, yeah, they were all, like, different styles. Yeah, so many examples of uh, father son, like even Eddie and Shavo, they were uncle and nephew. Uh, Shavo was a uh, was a high flyer, just like Eddie. I think Eddie could could pace a match better and was better in, at the in ring actual wrestling part than Shavo was. Uh, but uh, both both were great in the ring, awesome tag team, Los Guerreros, and uh, they did good too. They did very well for for what they they did. Of course, all the Guerreros were good. Eddie's father. Great wrestler too, great, great stuff. So, but I think Eddie did better than any of the any of the other Guerreros. I think Eddie is the one that did the best. So.
just a video I wanted to shoot for you guys and something I, I wanted to shoot. Uh, again, I like to credit Indie Wisdom Reloaded for the idea. I think it was a pretty damn good idea. And uh, I want to thank you so much for watching this video and I will catch you guys in the next one.